I'm DJ Semtex. So I do radio, I do podcasts. I wrote a book on hip hop. It's the Hip Hop Raise Me book. I DJ around the world. I work with some of the greatest artists of our time in the US and in the UK. And I live in London, which is one of the most exciting, illustrious cities in the world. And today we're going to do some real talk. First and foremost, I'm a DJ. I'm not, you know, the label exec. I'm not that guy. I'm the DJ first and foremost. Like everything I do, it all comes from that. My knowledge, uh, my passion. And he, even today, Matt, you know, you've always got to constantly evaluate the market, no matter what job you do. As a DJ, I'm, I'm always switched on. I'm a rap enthusiast. You know, you, you get people who are sports enthusiasts, like there's people who will support a, their favorite football team all their life. And they'll tell you all the stats and they'll tell you about all the new players, whether this person's good or bad or whatever. That's what I am like with hip hop. Obviously the music that I grew up with, it's my go-to music. Like Chuck D, he is one of the greatest rappers of all time because of how he connected with me, how he, you know, opened my eyes, he opened my mind. But there's artists today that are doing this for new generations of kids. And I think that's dope. I think it's exciting. I, I don't think anyone should be judgmental about what I listen to is better than that. Nah, it's not. Everything changes. With everything that I do, it's like one hand washes the other, like basically. So that experience of doing the clubs helps with the radio. And also the radio work helps me with the label work because I know how records feel. I know I can tell you instantly whether that's gonna work or not. Like what I select for my show, I know that's what people want. And that helps with, you know, what I do at the labels in terms of music and everything. I'm always looking for hot new music. I can narrow it down to exactly what I do. I amplify culture. I need to be able to listen to music on a good set of speakers because I need to be able to curate the right radio show. I need to be able to put this track with that track and that track and build the momentum. And whether that's through a tempo thing or whether that's through, you know, the frequencies of bass lines and melodies and, and I need a true sound. I need, I need speakers that I can trust. So now I've got these in my office. I can have artists in there and they can play their music and I, I know where it's at instantly. An artist can play something in here and have confidence that it's gonna bang. It's gonna blow you away. When I got the 20s, I was able to get that sound where I'm getting the bass, I'm getting the mid, I'm getting the high end and everything else. And you know what I was getting? And I didn't even realize it, clarity. The clarity of sound is it's a luxury. 